Now, before I edit it, I want to explore a different part of the multicam interface by double clicking on the multicam clip. This opens it up inside the angle editor. Let's make this smaller so you can see what we're doing here. And we'll just make it pictures only. Notice the order of the clips. We go camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. These are tracks. Inside the tracks are clips. If I don't like the order of my cameras, I don't want to go camera one, two, three, four. Let's say that I want camera four on top. If I grab this thumb on the right hand side and drag up, I can change the stacking order, the display order of my clips by going, in this case, I'm going camera four, camera two, camera three, camera one. Inside the track, I can actually trim the clip. I can grab the clip and drag it shorter. I could grab the clip and move it from side to side. If for some reason I didn't like the way that it was synchronized, I could change it. Or I could, I could uh, trim the front. So I don't have to have my clip start at the beginning of the multicam clip. And as you'll see, as we get a little bit farther along, I can have multiple clips inside the same angle. Notice also I've got this, this little TV icon here, gray for all but this one, and a little audio icon. What the TV icon indicates is what is my monitor channel? What my, what's my video monitor? What do I see before the clip is edited? If I click on the TV icon, I say I want it to come from my close-up camera or my jib arm camera or the high center wide shot or the close-up side shot, I can click on the monitor to determine what I'm going to see, and I can only see one clip at a time. But I can hear multiple clips. So if I click on the audio icon now, I can hear all three of these clips at the same time. This is not how the clip is edited. This is how the clip is monitored before editing starts. A good example is, let's say that you didn't record audio on all cameras or the audio is, is uh, maybe low quality, I can play two clips at the same time and listen to see is the audio in sync? Does it have a, uh, an echo? Does it have a, a little bit of hollowness? If it does, then I can slip the video to get the two clips in sync by playing and listening to multiple angles at the same time. I can monitor one video angle but I can monitor an unlimited number of audio angles. And again, this does not affect how the clip is edited. It's just what you see in here before the clip is edited, when you're previewing it inside the browser. This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at multicam editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this webinar, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for webinar 173. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.